assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to exclusive modest hope you have a wonderful day today's episode is going to be on how to cut this elegant abaya dress i'm using chiffon fabric and duchess fabric i'm combining both silk and, and duchess together if i'm making this for higher measurement you're going to make this of four yards or four and a half yards of any fabric you are making use of so you should make use of uh, three yards of plain fabric, then one yard of flower fabric like this. So to cut out the body is of two ways. It depends on how full you want the body to be. You can cut it in a slant A shape. You can also cut it in a triangle flay. Okay, it's a triangle flay method. This is how to do it. And for that triangle flame method, for any measurement starting from 36, that bust 36 to bust 42, you are using 3 to bust 42, 43, 44. You'll be using 3 and a half yard of this fabric. Even 45 you can also use it. So you can use 3 and a half yard of any fabric you are using. Fold, first fold it into 2 this way. Then the next thing, fold it into 4 like a triangle like this. You can see so when you now fold it into four like this it depends on how full you want it to be you can try to reduce it this way you can try to make it equal it depends on how full you want your triangle flat to be then you take your ammo like this this is going to be the ammo you come in to the to the waist measurement then to the length of the abaya you can see it's now this is not the ammo the ammo normally be a slant ammo you come into the waist measurement. This is where to take the bust measurement. You take the waist measurement here, then you come to the full length of the dress. So if you, that is if you are making use of triangle flay method. But you want to make use of slant a line method, it won't be as full as that of as that of um, it won't be as full as that of triangle. It won't, uh, it, won't, it won't be as full as that of triangle flame method. So you're going to fold your fabric into two this way. But you can also use three yards for this method. By folding your fabric into two this way, then you slant it like this into four. You can also have your angle here. Your angle will be here, you can see. So just make sure when you're folding this, make sure you can get your bust measurement here so you can see where i fold it you can see so the next thing to take is the is the neckline so to start that you are going to you can take from here you can take two inches up this way when you take your three inches up like this you know triangle flare will give you the exact angle that you want but here you can you cannot get the sharp edge here but you can also derive it yourself by taking the measurement slantly like this you can see where i slant it this is eight inches for the ammo the other the normal ammo measurement for this particular dress is five inches so i'm adding three inches to it the same thing applicable to higher measurement but bigger measurements if you're making maybe let's say back 15 the ammo will be seven and a half you know then by adding four inches to your three and a half to it to make it 10 or 10.5 inches will be okay for the ammo you can as well use 11 if you want just add allowance to it to make it free the slant ammo is not going to be tight they are not usually tight so this is where i get my eight from then from this eight, let me see maybe I can get my bust measurement. The bust measurement I'm using here is 20. So this is 20 with a same allowance of half inch. So I'm using the whole of this. You can see. So I want to have enough allowance. So let me use 8.5. Let me take my bust measurement from 8.5 i told you you can add 3.5 to your normal ammo measurement you can add 3 to your normal ammo measurement depending on how how um how free you want the ammo side to be so now i'm adding 3.5 to the normal measurement to be 8.5 inches so this is now 5 inches for the bust measurement 
transfer then i'm using the remaining one for the this is 0 0.6 is 0 0.7 so it's okay for the allowance so this is now where the bust is so this is now where the bust is so from this area now no this is eight inches for the hammer then i'm use, i'll be using 10 inches for the half halt so this is where the this is eight eight point five inches for the ammo then this is ten inches for the half cut this is my half cut so from this half cut now i'll be taking my measurement of the waist so the measurement of eight waist here i'll be using five inches as well five inches with the same allowance of half inch then from here it is going to be like this and see this is not the shape this is the this is the bust and this is the waist so from here i'll be slanting it down to the main length yeah so you cannot see the length now you cannot see this is the bust measurement this is the waist measurement then this is the length of the dress so from here my length is 33 inches so i'll be starting from the center here to take the length of the dress this is 33 inches the 33 inches i'm taking is with the same allowance 33 inches Just you can see I three inches. So from here now I cannot cut it out. is now the shape you can see it and you can see the shape now so the next thing here is to take the neckline starting from the upper part here from this edge that's where you're going to stay you are going to start your neckline then i'm making use of 2.5 inches for the neckline then i'll cut it out you can see now this is now the the neckline for both back and front. You can see the shape now. You can see the shape. So I cannot take one out of this to make it the front because I'm going to divide it into two. It has a band. So you can see this is after dividing it into two for the front it has a division then i'll be deducting i'll be deducting one inch from here and i'll be replacing it back with 1.5 inches the 1.5 inches i'm talking about is that i'll be cutting out four and a half inches this is four and a half inches so after folding it into two this way it's going to give me 2.25 by the time i stitch it with half inch i'll be left with 2.1.75 
so is that 1.75 that will be here after cutting out one inch so i will deduct one inch here then i'm going to replace it back with 1.75 because it's going to overlap one inch So this is the one inch I'm cutting out, you can see it, then I can uncut. So after cutting it out, this you can see we deducted one inch from it. So to cut out the front neck knife, I'll be using six inches for the deepness, you know, it's it's going to overlap each other then from this angle this is where our shoulder is from here I'm going to slant it down so you can see then I cannot cut it out yes we are not done with the body this is the neckline so we are done with the front now the next thing to cut out now is the sleeve how i'm using this to cut out the sleeve i'm folding it into four this is into two you can see then into four i told you if you are cutting for an adult the yard you are going to use on the on the sleeve side is one yard so you fold your fabric into four this way this this folding now is going to have a joining at the at the upper part of the end. Okay, this folding now is going to have a join. The sleeve is going to have the is, is the sleeve is going to have a joining. So this folding now, the sleeve will have joining. You can see now. This is into four. So the next thing I'll be taking here. Is the slant shoulder you know the slant that we took from the from the body was 8.5 inches so the same thing applicable to this area this is 8.5 inches you can see so you can see so the next thing now you must know the wideness of the hand here yeah, i'm using six inches and this is 6.5 inches so the half inch is going for the joining of this area and i'm also going to join it half inch at this area so i'll be left 5.5 inches so it's okay for the wideness of the arm yeah so i'll be going down with two inches i'm going in with two inches then from these two inches this is how because that is how the sleeve is then from here i'll go down i'll go slant down that is the shape of the sleeve like a shaped sleeve you can see so this is what you need for the hopper joining of the body they must have the same shape with the ammo So you can see now this is now the shape of the of the sleeve i'll be dividing it into two yeah so let me try to reduce it let me try to reduce it a little bit the wideness yes i'm okay with this you can see so this is still going to have a joining here a taping a thick taping of that same inches you're using for the front to make it a complete sleeve you can see it now 
so this is what is going to stay at the front i told you so i'll be showing you how to join it i'm going to fold it this way then i've cut out one and a half yard of this also i'm also going to fold this like this then place it here you can see the way it is on the thumbnail you know it has a piece of the fabric at the sleeve side so that's what i've cut here out here you can see now then i'll start sewing so let me go and show you all these and also the finishing together this is the front you can see the band at the front the way i did it i showed it to you when i was sewing it you can see the sleeve with 2.25 inches taping this is the neckline you can see the way we 
put the band across the neckline he's at the back also this is the shape of the sleeve you can see how the shape comes out and the and the main body you can see the shape properly you can see the way i close the center this is the shape i told you i said you can cut this in two ways if you want it to be more full you can use triangle flay if you want it to be little full that you don't want it to that full you can use a slant a shape the way i did it here and i said if you are making it of a if you are cutting it on triangle flay that means you are making it of four yards or four and a half yards of any fabric you are using so that means you are using three yards three and a half yards of the body then you are using then you're going to use one yard of the sleeve so that means you want to use triangle flay to cut the style out but if you are using a slant a line you are going to use three yard for the body and one yard for the sleeve that's that is for both 30 from 36 to 45 inches you can use three yards three and a half yard of the of the of this dosher and one yard of the silk you can see and you can see the way i join it so if you do that it's going to turn out nicely the way it is now so let me let me show you the wrong side of the of the style so this is what i used to overlap the second one this is what give me this ss here because it overlap one another so this is the sleeve i told if you are working if you are cutting the ammo the ammo is not going to be the normal ammo you can add up to three and a half three and a half inches or four inches to it or 4.5 inches it depends on how free you want your ammo to be and the ammo also is going to help the bust measurement to be free so if you enjoyed this tutorial so far make sure you give it a thumbs up and for those people watching me for the first time i really appreciate you guys for stopping by subscribe to my channel and also on your notification bell so that whenever i upload any tutorial you'll be notified see my next class assalamualaikum Yeah.